Like much of the U.S., Los Angeles is facing a social issue that seems to be hitting low-income neighborhoods the hardest. Young women are finding basic family planning health care services inaccessible. What's more is that these women also end up being of racial and ethnic minorities. LA is experiencing tens of thousands of young women of color being turned away from receiving basic and timely reproductive health care, and we believe it has much to do with the conflict and inequality between the wealthy and the poor, and white people and people of color. We know this is a problem due to the reports coming out of different clinics like Planned Parenthood Los Angeles, who reported at the beginning of the recession that their clinics are turning away more than 10,000 patients each month because they do not have the staff to provide services for them. This problem began in 1977 with the Hyde Amendment's initial action prohibiting Medicaid funding for abortions for low-income women except in cases of rape, incest, or when a woman's life is endangered. This dangerous legislation set off a trend of creating legislation to make it more and more difficult for low-income women to access basic reproductive health care. And now, California has seen an increase in legislative action to cut Medi-Cal reimbursement funding for reproductive health services. Note that Medi-Cal is a system set up to assist low-income people to access better health care. This problem translates into the fact that those who can afford private health care and complete and timely access to reproductive health care tend to be those with higher incomes, homeowners, and people working only one full-time job. Those who cannot afford private health care are seeking reproductive health care from clinics. These are women from low-income neighborhoods traditionally of Hispanic, Latino, and African-American descent. In 2011, the Reproductive Justice Coalition of Los Angeles reported that in Los Angeles, one-third of women who become pregnant are uninsured. Nearly 70% of chlamydia and gonorrhea cases occur in women between the ages of 15 to 24. African American and Latina women have the highest rate of chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, and pelvic inflammatory disease, and South LA has the highest HIV AIDS mortality rates in LA County. Who pays the price for this problem? The poor young women, of course, but also the taxpayers. When young women are unable to access birth control, prophylactics, or prenatal health care, the pregnancies and diseases that may result become the financial responsibility of the taxpayers through government health care, public education, and an increased stress on the economy to find ways to support an exponential increase in population. Who benefits? While it doesn't seem likely that anyone could benefit from such an issue, some actually do those being political leaders, predominantly white people in power. These leaders are able to benefit by restricting abortion and family planning resources for women, mainly for women of color. By creating these oppressive circumstances, these women have no choice but to spend the money that they do not have on children that they knew they could not afford or provide for. This leaves them dependent on those that are in power, thus continuing the oppressive power play. What are people doing to help solve the problem? Fortunately, quite a bit is being done to raise awareness for women's reproductive rights. More and more activist groups are forming to help the fight to repeal the Hyde Amendment. Two of these groups being Unite for Reproductive and Gender Equality, URGE, and All Above All. These are organizations of individuals who are fighting to remove bans on abortion coverage and gain other important resources that women need. They are doing so by running campaigns, holding rallies, and also delivering petitions to members of Congress in hopes to prevent the renewal of the Hyde Amendment. What else might be done to fix the problem? Other ways to fix the restrictions on reproductive rights for poor women of color may simply be to raise as much awareness as possible, just by getting involved and also involving those around you. Many people, mainly those who are not poor women of color, have never heard of the Hyde Amendment or the consequences that are caused by its restrictions. Seeing as there is known strength in numbers, there is reason to believe that the more people know about it, the more will be done to gain back reproductive rights for women who do not have them and begin to shift the current power dynamic and creating more equitable control over women's bodies.